What's up, guys? What's up? It's a nice, quiet Sunday night. Uh, wanted to talk about the project and uh, just taking a breather, you know, getting a little bit overextended. And uh, for good reasons, because we're spending a whole lot of money and um, we're not getting anything coming in, right? Because. Uh, CGC books haven't come in yet. They're probably not going to be in for uh, a few weeks still, if not another month. And um, and then uh, hopefully these books will uh, will be hot and we'll be able to make a profit on them. But in the meantime, there's a lot of money being spent now. As far as as the way I handle things, um, I am selling books in order to fund this project I have 24 24 books right now up for sale um, had more than that and some of them have sold I actually sold a um, Avengers annual number 10 9.8 on my comic shop and it's a you know rogue is not a character that I'm invested in and and I had the 9.8 and I sent it in and it's it actually sold pretty quickly and yeah you know, that might be a, a book that I probably will regret selling it sold for um I think it was 675 I have the receipt somewhere but um I have I have other ones of those that I I, I sent into uh CGC to get graded and um uh, one of them is going to be coming soon probably in the next month or month and a half and that has a shot at being a 9.82 but whenever I'm not invested in a character emotionally, I really don't care too much about about that character unless I know it's a character that's um, that's even though I might not be invested in it, but it it might be a character that it's I I consider it to be a grail, like a Morales, for example. Right? Now, I was waiting on a Morales. I'll tell you guys because I don't think I'm going to get it. I was waiting on a newsstand that I paid um, a lot of money for. And it's lost in the mail right now. So I'm in the process of hopefully getting a refund on it. But um, that's a big time bummer because it was a newsstand. And it was in pretty decent condition. I think it would have probably made a 9.2 possibly a 9.0 um but i'll have more of that when uh when, when it's finalized but i don't think i'm gonna be receiving it anymore all right um but that's a character that i would keep in my collection forever probably actually it would have been kept in my collection forever because it because it was a new stand um but um but say Rogue, I'm not invested in Rogue, so Rogue I sold. So anyway, that's just one book that I sold to fund this project. And I have other books out there. I never did sell Wilbert. I never sent, sent my uh, Blue Marvel 9.8. I still have the two 9.8s on me, only because I don't... Uh, you know what, man? You kind of convinced me. Uh, you're right. You're right. That character is just uh, getting way, way too hot right now. It's a very limited book. I don't know how many 9.8s are going to be in that book. I think the print run is 17,333. And I just don't think that that's the print run. I think the print run is going to be a lot less than that. And that's the print run that's reported, but um, yeah, I I think I'm keeping my nine eights. I have my nine point four for sale right now in my comic shop, though. That's funding this project, and um, I'm gonna be sending all of my blue marbles pretty soon, and I'll show them off over here. I'll send them all though. I'm gonna send them all out. I mean, I might I might keep a copy of each. one one through five for myself just just as my reading copy unless uh 
um, unless I get a trade paperback or something like that. But anyway, time to take a breather from the grill project uh, until we recoup some money, right? I I almost went out and got uh, another book today, but it's it's a lot of money. It's um, it's another Boom Studios book. Um, uh, what's it called? We only it's about gods. We only find them when they're dead. Yeah, that's what it was. We only find them when they're dead. And Jenny Frizen has a beautiful, beautiful cover on that. It's a one in fifty, and you know how I love Jenny Frizen. And um, I wanted to go after that, but it's ninety nine dollars. It started out at seventy nine, which I thought it was a lot anyway. Um, but now it's up to ninety nine for that one in fifty, and I wanted to get it, but not right now. Not right now. You got to know your limits, and yeah, I'm, I'm at I'm at the limit right now. All right, I, whoever is following this with me, all right, just be careful, guys. Don't overextend. That's why I'm like, look, I'm going out. I go crazy. I'm a crazy guy, man. I take a lot of gambles. I'm a gambler. But, um, like, you know, was there really a reason why I should be getting 10 or 15 of these? Or, you know, some of these, like the Berserker especially, right? Um, the Grandpa's. Should I have gotten seven of them? I probably shouldn't, but like I said, I'm I'm a gambler. That's a lot of money to put in on a book that's not proven. But I have I just have a really good feeling about that book. Like a really, really good feeling about it. So um Ferryman, also another book. Um I I actually think the Venom twenty seven is one in one hundred. I think they're gonna do really good. I do think they're gonna do but I, I by far, I think the best book out of this whole bunch so far is the Venom 25 Second Prince. That, I think, is going to end up being the best book. And possibly following that was uh, Venom 26 Bagley's Tens. Um, I was influenced by Athletic Style on that one. Okay. Um, but... Um, those are going to be, I think, the two biggest books, I think. I think. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Eventually, the, those Witcher comics are, are going to become very pricey. But that might take a few years. But they're, they're, they're going to become super pricey. I would, I would definitely advise people to, like, if you see Witcher books... And you can get them at a good price. Don't go, don't go out and just buy them just because they're there, you know. But try and get them at a good price. Offer, make best offers. Like even send them like IMs, the sellers, and that's what I do. And and sometimes they take it and they're like, okay, you know, Polish currency. Um, the, the dollar has a lot over the Polish currency right now. So, all right, so. This is actually what I'm buying on 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 that I haven't put on the project. All right, this is a book that I bought a few times already now. Did not buy it at the 400 level when I said caution, caution, buyer beware. I did not buy it at that level. I thought it was way too much. I actually think it's way too much right now. This book could be a very hot book or it could be a very bad bad investment for me that all depends on print run all depends on print run um if this was low printed like i think it probably was then this book's going to take off and so will the first print um but if they come out and they say, oh, we made 300000 of the uh, regular print, this book is going to tank like you wouldn't believe. Hopefully, that's not going to be the case and it's going to be the other way around. But um, 
But I, I, you know, this is a character I'm not, I'm not invested in. Robin King, obviously nobody's invested in this character because nobody knows anything about him. He is another version of the Batman who laughs pretty much. It's another Bruce Wayne from a different universe or multiverse, a different reality, right? And he's just demented, right? Um, but he's not, like I said before, he's not Batman. He hasn't gone through those tribulations, but he becomes, I guess, his Robin, right? So... No, the Robins didn't become, uh, like, uh, Grayson didn't become Nightwing right away. He had to go through a process to do that. And this kid's already starting off like uh, like the Omen, right? So, but uh, I love the cover. I've always loved this freaking cover. So, I got a few of these. Not for the project. These are going to be long-term uh, holds for me. Two of the ones that I got came damaged. They came with dents. And I'm noticing on eBay that a lot of these books come with damages. I don't know if it was because of the printing. But a lot of these books are not going to become, be coming in at a, at a 9.8. I'm hoping that I get at least two. I have four of these right now. I sent the other two back and I'm waiting on a refund. But um, I, I got them on eBay. But... um. But yeah, I think um, I think these are going to be coming in with, um, with with a lot of defects. So I'm hoping to get two of my four and 9.8s. Also, what I'm doing is I'm buying the first prints as bundles. Um, so the regular first prints and these, I'm, I'm buying them together. It affords me more chances at 9.8s. If I can get a 9.8 on the first print... It'll lessen the cost, right, on getting this one and the other one together. I get a better shot at getting 9.8 on one or the other, right, if I get if I get more. And I'm trying to get them at good prices. Definitely not the $400. This one I bought for $200, $199 actually, plus shipping. Actually, no, no, no. It was free shipping plus taxes. So I ended up paying like uh, 214 I think, for this, which was not that bad. It was not that bad considering, right? Uh, other books that I'm purchasing, Last of Us. I have two more of these going in. These are going to be going into CGC pretty soon. Uh, they're going to be going in with these. It's going to go in with Predator. I got this on a YouTube auction from Hack. Nice looking book. Over here in the corner, there are bends that I think can be pressed out. They are not color breaking. Over here, you can, it looks like it's color breaking, but that's just a reflection of the light. If I go over it like this, you can't see it. And I think my, you know what? That might break color a little bit right there. Damn it. Yes, I think that might break a color a little bit, but you know what? Hmm, that could still might that might still be able to get a nine four if that's pressed really well. To the naked eye, you the you can't even see it, man. I'm looking at it now, like you can't even see it to the naked eye. You can't lie to the freaking camera though. That does break color a little bit, guys. It can that 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 might be able to be a uh, 9.2, 9.4, 9.4 will be still nice at the price that I got it. This is a book that I recommend you guys go out and get right right now. This is the first appearance of a character we used to call Magic, but now they're calling her Magic, and I'm. Uh, Trying to figure out what Chris Chris Claremont calls her because I've been seeing a lot of his interviews. Uh, and he doesn't say anything when people call her magic, but he doesn't say her name. It's not like uh Kirby who used to call you know, he used to he used you know, like Dark Side, but obviously Dark Side is not magic or magic. 
But this is the first appearance, full appearance, of Magic, um, or Magic, X-Men 160, right? So this is when she actually becomes uh, Magic. I think this is a very, very, this has a lot of potential, and it's a cheap book. This is the kind of book you want to spec on. You can get a 9.6 in this book right now for $99 on eBay. If you can get a 9.6 um, in an old label, you might be able to send that label in and possibly get a great bump later, right? When the, when, when the character becomes super hot. This book has not taken off yet and it's a book from 1982. So if you're going to invest in a book, like let's say that we're like even here, right? These are books that none of these books are really proven. Not yet. I mean, they're proven only to the moderns, right? Um, these characters are not yet really proven, proven like characters, most of these. So, um, but, but Magique or Magic has been around for a long time. She already has a fan base, actually. There's people that do cosplay on her and go to conventions and stuff. And I don't particularly like the New Mutants movie. I don't like the format that they're going with. But I do like the way that she looks in that trailer. And um, I actually got a 9.8, and I'm in the process of getting another 9.8 right now. But I wouldn't be against getting a 9.6 for 99 bucks. I mean, think about it. I got Don't Pay the Ferryman um, for 100 No, no, it was $66 each. Okay, so that one, let me see. Venom 27 for 100 bucks, one in one, one in, one in 50, right? A 9.6 of that, 1982 book, goes for 100 bucks. I mean, if if I were to say like which book is really um, has really more value or should have more value, it would be this book at a nine point six than that at a nine point eight. However, moderns are always going to go for more in the early in the early game. And this is an early game. This Grell project is an early game project right now what i'm gonna do is once this whole covid thing is over and hopefully i survive it uh and we all do i hope we all do all right but the next grill project i'm gonna try to just go after proven books and try to flip them but at that point it's a little bit more work because i'm gonna have to travel and go to conventions and go to flea markets and find books at, at good prices and then uh, try to flip them, right? Like The Last of Us, I think, like getting it on a 9.8 already, it, it, there's, there's no mystery. I don't have to, you know, like these two books, I'm, I'm sending these two. And, and these two are not going to be in the Grail Project, but I'm sending them both in and hope to get 9.8 if i get it a 9.8 here i mean i paid um you know 220 for that but it was two books and i, I already got a 9.8 in there it's uh and for a book like that that's cheap it's another book last of us if you can get that first printing only six thousand on the first printing or you can get this one because and and or, or the variant i mean i think all three of them are going to be hot books Unfortunately, I didn't go after that first printing, not yet anyway. Um, but six thousand, just a little bit over six thousand, and that is, uh, nah, that I think that's going to be a hot book. I'm I'm hoping that uh, HBO does a, you know, a good thing on that. I ended up um, getting another one of these. This is now my third one. I have one in my personal collection, and of course, I have the one that came in as a seven .0. 
But this is a character that I'm not invested. I actually, it's two characters that I'm not invested in. One of them that I hate. Now, I don't like using the word hate. But the truth is, I hate this freaking character, Franklin Richards. I always hated him. I hate him now almost as much as I hated him back then. But there's a whole bunch of people that like this cat, right? Um, why do I hate him? Because he's a human. He's a human that has powers to make Galactus his bitch, okay? And I don't like that. Never liked that. Didn't like Didn't like it when I saw it. Um, and he gets really overpowered. However, um, and Annihilus, I mean, Annihilus has been a, a, a cool villain. These vill uh, uh, Annihilus is no Thanos. He's not Thanos. Not very few people can be in that level. Doctor Doom can be in that level and is, right? Um, but uh, Annihilus is a cool, cool character, you know. Um, but uh, this is pretty much just a book that I'm not going to keep in the collection. It's a book that I'm going to flip, right? So uh, and I got it put it for for a decent price, and uh, I'm hoping to get. Another 7.0 on this, hopefully, after a press. That one actually looks a lot better than the last one I sent in. So maybe we can send. And of course, uh, this one I showed before. And this one looks freaking magnificent. First full storyline of the Silver Surfer. And if this comes in in a very high grade, I might just keep this book. Uh, but I'm going to be finding more books like this and these books are books that you can get cheap right now this one anyway this one you can the uh other annual for uh mr richards over there not so cheap not so cheap but um but anyway oh yeah here's uh other books i i said i was gonna get these these are the second printings of the um the gold lantern and uh monster boy went through this book i didn't see monster boy maybe i missed him but um i think this is monster boy first cover appearance i don't remember seeing him in the book uh but this uh this it's got a lot of characters in here so who knows i got this the second printing because it was cheap it was undercover price also got 10 of these and these are just in cases just in case the second printing take off because because it's it's um it's a gold it's gold instead of green and that is the gold lantern i got um got 10 of these okay not going to be sending those out to cgc at least not not yet at least i don't think so anyway but um yeah just if you follow me on the grill project that's what i really wanted to say just don't go crazy like i do if you're gonna get one book get one book you know um if if there's if it's like cheap books like like the second prints were like the thor four second prints and we got them for um for cover price or under cover price yeah man by all means shit man. i mean get 10 Sorry for the curse words there. You know, get 10, you know. But uh, say Berserker, you know what? Maybe when when it was going for the for the pack, they had the super pack when it came with a bundle of uh, a, a bunch of them. That was probably the time to get them, you know, because you were getting one in, a 1 in 50, 1 in 10, 1 in 25, the regular cover, the variant cover, and the 1 in 100. That was a great deal for 200 bucks, right? Um, but then, you know, now they're selling the... Uh, so now you got to hope that you get a near mint copy and stuff. So that one's probably a book that maybe I should have just recommended you guys stay away from just for the time being. But yeah, I am hoping that we... That I hit... Or that we hit big on that, you know... Um, and the and the Venom Twenty Sevens, the second print, the second print that wasn't a bad price for that. So I hope you guys went out and got a couple of those. 
you know not so bad of a price but once you start getting into the hundred dollar even the eighty dollar prices for each book yeah that could be heavy man that could be heavy you know um uh b -b 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 so look don't be putting anything on your credit cards if you don't have the money if you don't have the money don't buy them don't if you don't have the cash do not buy them do not buy anything on credit because unless you have the money to pay it on credit right but then you're, you're talking about, it's like buying stock on margin. And you can really get hurt like that, right? Because now you got to spend more money to go and get it graded, right? So I just, I'm going to feel really bad if some of these don't hit and you guys went and got them, you know? I'm really going to feel bad about that. So um, it's a fun project. It's been fun so far. It's going to be a lot more fun and hectic when the grades come out. Imagine, like, sending 10 of... Oh, no, no. Sending the, the, the seven berserkers in, and none of them come in at a 9.8. I mean, that's, that's, going to be, that's going to be awful. You know? I can't even think that. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to let that thought go out of my head. But, um, you know, things, nothing is a guarantee 9.8. Nothing. Nothing. Um, so, just be careful. That's what I wanted to make this video about. All right? Just, we'll take a breather. Take a breather, guys. Take a breather. And my confidence is still high on these books. It's actually high on pretty much most of them. All right. Vast majority, except for that Marvel Tales number 12 and um, and the Harley Quinn 75. I'm not so sure. I love the cover, the mayor cover, but I'm not so sure about those two. Um, and then the rest, you know, that Gideon... That Gideon, the one thing that I like about those is that they were cheap. Two seventy nine and thirteen thirty three. I think they can be moved regardless. You know, so but uh have a good night guys. I hope you guys stayed a stayed awake for this whole thing here. But uh we're gonna be picking uh one of these books in the next month or so to give to the community. And it's probably either going to be the Bagley 1 in 50 or the Venom 25 second print. Um, probably want to, probably going to be one of those two. All right. Uh, or you know what? Or maybe one of the Thor 4 second print. Hmm? Possibly. Possibly. All right. Uh, we'll have a discussion on that later. And like I said before, I got to say it in the, in the beginning of the video, but um, all international guys that listen to me, uh, all of them, Paulie, uh, Pete, all right, um, anybody that's outside of the United States is included. I will mail it to you for free to you anyway. And uh, whatever cost is going to go right into the cost of the project, right? But, um, yeah, you guys live in Australia. I will mail it to you in Australia 9.8. Guaranteed if you win um, whatever book we're giving away. All right? Later. Have a good night.